There are new lung cancer screenings plus viral infections on the rise again in Oklahoma. A lot to talk about. So let's get to Dr. Dale Bratzler with OU Health and let's start uh, right away when we talk about the viral or excuse me, the lung cancer screenings. What can you tell us about those? Yeah, so lung cancer is one of the most common causes of cancer. In fact, the second leading cause of cancer in the United States, and it is the leading cause of cancer death in the United States. And I think many my, many of your viewers are probably aware and that Oklahoma doesn't do particularly well in this category of cancer. We have the eighth highest rate of lung cancer in the United States and the fifth highest death rate from cancer in the United States. So we see a lot of lung cancer in Oklahoma. I think it's important that people understand why we're now recommending that we screen smokers um, for lung cancer. Uh, the first reason is that, lung, that smoking is by far the most common cause and the biggest risk factor for lung cancer. Uh, but we also know that lung cancer in particular, if you diagnose it early, it's much easier. Sometimes you can cure it with surgery or other simpler uh, interventions. So it can be a curable disease, if it, particularly when it's caught early. You kind of mentioned Oklahoma sort of towards the top of the list here when it comes to folks affected by this. Is the reason smoking or is there other factors that have played into this? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Oklahoma's had a historically a very high rate of cigarette smoking. We have come down uh, more recently, but uh, up to a quarter of the population of Oklahoma at times has smoked. So we have a lot of people who have smoked, some even in the past, who are still at risk of the um, development of lung cancer. We got three different viruses uh, plaguing people in Oklahoma right now. Which one is really the most on the increase? Is it the flu that people should be worried about or is there something else out there? Yeah, so right now, um, COVID, RSV, and um, uh, the flu are all rising in the state. RSV, at least in our system, is kind of plateaued. And I looked at the state numbers earlier today. RSV is plateaued to a certain extent. Uh, the other uh, two, though, influenza and COVID are both going up. Uh, you probably heard in the national news, influenza hasn't hit Oklahoma very hard yet. Uh, but I saw a big jump in the OU health system in the past month. Uh, and if you look at all the states that are right around Oklahoma, we really um, are surrounded by states that have extremely high rates of influenza. So I really think over the next month, six weeks or so, we're going to see a lot of cases of flu in Oklahoma. You got any reminders for people quickly before we take off here on things they can do to stay protected as this potentially ramps up in our state? Yeah, obviously the big one is get your flu shot. And if you haven't had the new updated COVID vaccine, I strongly recommend that you get that. Uh, these two diseases are preventable with vaccines. And even if you happen to get the infection after being vaccinated, your risk of complications is uh, markedly decreased. Dr. Bratzler, appreciate your time. Thank you here for keeping everybody safe and letting us know what could be potentially heading our way. Yeah, thank you.